The Duchess of Sussex has a pack of hand warmers with her at all times to give to Kensington Palace's guards, who often have to stand outside for hours in freezing temperatures. According to Meghan's former co-star, the Duchess is extremely generous with her staff and even once bought them all an ice cream stand. Speaking to People magazine, her friend said, it's the same stuff she does with her office at Kensington Palace now. I came by there one day and she had ordered an incredible ice cream and sorbet stand for the office. They were remarking how it was the best day of work ever. The Duchess's friends have come together to shut down rumors which have taken the media by storm in recent months in what they say is global bullying. They include Meghan's longtime friend, a former coster, a friend from law, a one-time colleague, and a close confidant. The former co-star told People magazine, we worry about what this is doing to her and the baby. It's wrong to put anyone under this level of emotional trauma, let alone when they're pregnant. We want to stand up against the global bullying we are seeing and speak the truth about who our friend, a mother-to-be, really is. Her friends have all asked for their identity to be protected so as to protect the private friendships they hold dear. They said the Duchess has no relationship with her half-siblings but desperately tried to build a relationship with her father, contrary to popular belief. Meghan even asked her father, Thomas Markle to visit her in London, but he wouldn't get into a car and even ignored her messages. In a desperate attempt to rebuild contact with her father, Meghan wrote a note to him which allegedly read, Dad, I'm so heartbroken, I love you. I have one father. Please stop victimizing me through the media so we can repair our relationship. Meghan's former co-star said, he writes her a really long letter in return, and he closes it by requesting a photo op with her. And she feels like, that's the opposite of what I'm saying. I'm telling you I don't want to communicate through the media, and you're asking me to communicate through the media. It's almost like their ship's passing. He knows how to get in touch with her. Her telephone number hasn't changed. He's never called. He's never texted. It's super painful because Meg was always so dutiful. I think she will always feel genuinely devastated by what he's done. Meghan's friends said the Duchess is an incredibly organized, diligent, focused, hard-working person, dismissing rumors bothered her staff with constant early morning emails. They also added that the constant turnover of employees is all natural courses of employment.